and we are here at Syracuse College. We are with their head softball coach, that would be Rebecca Bell, and thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you for having me. Now, you were telling me that this is your first year as coach, and you are only how old? I am only 22. <laughs> so you have to be the youngest community college coach around. I would presume so, yeah. <laughs> so as a first year from a team that last year, they fielded a team but forfeited a lot of games, so they really didn't play a full season. And this year you're starting out, and this is really the first full season for this school. Yeah, this is its first season. Um, last year, a series of unfortunate events kind of took place, and too many girls decided that they would rather not play softball, so they couldn't end their season. What's been your biggest challenge being a first-year coach and really the first year of the program? Uh, my biggest challenge is actually like transferring my player role, because I was just playing, into the coaching role. Um, I didn't realize how much went into coaching, and, and so for getting it started, it kind of took a lot. But now as a coach, I would say the biggest challenge um, is keeping girls eligible to play. That's been a kind of a hard thing to do because in the junior college world, if they drop below 12 units, they can no longer compete. And a lot of weird things happen, and suddenly girls can't play in the middle of a week, and it's, it's really tough to get through. And you were telling me that you – played D1 softball and that was at? I played at Cal State Northridge. Can you tell us a little bit more about your time there? Um, I started there in 2013 in August under Tariah Flowers who's probably the greatest coach in the world. Um, played all four years. I was a pitcher. Unfortunately I had an injury my sophomore year where I had to get elbow surgery so it took me out but that year our team actually won um, the conference, Big West Conference, and that was really really cool to be a part of even though I didn't actually get to play. But being a part of a team that's so great is super fun to be around and in that environment. Now, we know you have a doubleheader coming up here with Reed Lee, so we have to let you go. But in a final thought, what do you work for for the rest of the season? And then when the season ends, you have to it's, – it's not time to kick back and go on vacation. You have to start building and recruiting for next year. Yes, no, um, I've actually already started recruiting. Right now we're just trying to get through the rest of the season, um, keep the team together. It's been kind of hard, but um, the girls that I have are a great group of girls, and no doubt we'll finish strong. Um, but the recruiting process is just a never stop. Constantly email, constantly texting, calling, um, trying to get girls to out to the campus so they can see it because Richcrest is kind of isolated. But as you can tell, we have a beautiful field, and um, it's going to be really great next year, so keep watching. Thank you very much, Coach, for stopping by, or I should say we stopped by, to your home. And thank you for taking some time to talk to us here on SportsNetUSA.net. Absolutely. Have a good day.